Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Punch House, the online show where humans take to the internet to do what they do best, argue with each other over trivial nonsense. And here comes the only person with the machismo to bring you this madness, your host, Brianna Woodward. Everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Punch House with me, your host, Brianna. And this week we are going to determine the best bare knuckle brawlers of the world in the category of famous bartenders. And to d- help me duke it out is my special guests, Doug Oof. Gurton, Jimmy Oof. Cash, and Dave Oof. Williams. Wow. Hell yeah. I am so excited. Are you guys ready to defend your choices? <laughs> we're gonna do this all right so i'll kick things off with my choice probably the only bartender i've ever known aside from sean courtney shout out sean courtney is mo from the simpsons and i think he would hold his own because look at him he's so angry he's like he's got the hunch so i'm gonna give his like attack probably like a three but like i don't know strength Probably also a three, but defense, defense all day. Mo, he's got it going on. So I'm going to give him a five and he could probably last for a while. So I'd probably give him like a four there and like, yeah, special moves. I don't know. He'd probably get like Barney to come out of nowhere and just like burp on you and make you like die. Shotgun. Yeah, like a shotgun. So that's, that's who I would pick. But you guys can feel, feel whoever wants to go first, just shout him out, whatever you want. Uh, go first. I'll I'll just go. I picked AOC, uh, Alexandria. Uh, <laughs> is that her middle name? Those are fictional characters. <laughs> no, she said anybody? bartenders. Hold on, hold on. It's true. Hold on. <laughs> I want to hear Jimmy try to pronounce her name. Go ahead, Jimmy. Who's your pick? It's uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. <laughs> <and>, uh, <laughs> Because, like, she's kind of taken, like, the, the bartender rep pretty, like, you know, as her history. She's kind of made that her, her thing, you know what I, I mean? I think of her as bartender first. I do, too. I think she's probably a better bartender than a politician. Oh, ooh, there's <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know. She's, she's, pretty, she's pretty cool. She's pretty badass. She almost has, like, just natural superhero qualities, if you ask me. And, you know, so I was going to give her uh, attack. I'd say her attack is at, like, a four- we doing, we doing four point like or just solid? <laughs> no, just solid, but just round. Uh, attack four, point four, four. four point what? <laughs> three. Uh, strength would be a uh, um, three. Yeah, I don't think she's that strong physically, but her defense, like she's quick. She's quick on her feet, and I think her defense is a five. So, uh, and then uh, her stamina five all day you know what i mean she's just got plenty she's young she's 30 years old uh she she's uh you know just got a lot of energy she can she can go the rounds and uh special attack i was thinking like a banshee sonic scream yeah <laughs> she's a bitchy scream she could just totally just wipe out like a whole just blast a whole Imagine that versus Mo doing also a banshee scream. <laughs> it's like the sound of those together. <laughs> yeah, or no, or Barney doing a banshee burp. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that would be fucking really yeah. funny. <laughs> Dave, who do you got? What do you got? I chose the greatest bartender in all TV history. It was a it was a no-brainer. I chose Sam Mayday Malone. <laughs> of course he's, he he's the greatest bartender. He's from Cheers. He was a relief pitcher for the uh, the Red Sox. He's literally he's untouchable. Like here's the thing. I don't know about that. I think if if we're in a fair fight, <laughs> maybe AOC could have a chance. But I'm thinking like if there's a 30-foot radius she comes at Sam Malone. You're gonna slide her straight to the fucking dome. <laughs> you won't win. I'll go. I'll go through the stats. We're just gonna go through these stats real quick. His attack. I gave him. I gave him like a four. 
you know, he's got a decent slider. There was an episode where uh, a Yankees uh, fan came to the bar, and now he's a Yankees fan. He even said, Sam Malone's got a decent slider. It takes a lot probably for him to admit that. So you know it's probably decent. So I gave him a four there. Strength, I gave him a three. He's not a retired athlete. He's probably a little tired, you know what I mean? He's not at the peak of his game right now. You don't think with like adrenaline going? Uh, you know, he's he's literally, if you watch the show, 90% of the time he's wielding a knife too. And I just, because he's always peeling lemons or limes and shit like that. Like he's literally, <laughs> he's quick, majority of the time, he, pour, he peels more limes than, than actually pours drinks in that show. He will Shit. lemon you right in the cut he made. That's like a, that's a twofer to me. That's what I'm saying. Know. Yes. I might be team this... Sam right now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So he's oh, deadly from a, a range. He's deadly up close. Uh, his defense, I gave him a three because he's agile, quick on his feet. You know, like there, there was an episode where he, where he had to learn to dance in a couple of days. Brought, won a dance competition. Brought it all the way to the end of the fucking competition, okay? It's light on his feet. Agile. Gave him a three. Stamina. I I gave I think that's where he lacks. Because he's a proud man. No, not a zero. I gave him a two. Because I think he's 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 very protective of his looks. Like if you were to punch Sam Malone in the face, I don't know if you'd like take it and keep going. You'd probably like retreat try to redo his hair he's very you, yeah. you know like he, he's his he's vein in, he's, is, his vanity is gonna be his downfall that like, is his downfall yes 100 yeah he's not perfect <laughs> but uh but that's the see that plays into his special his special oh. attack Ooh. see this is where he gets you charm because <laughs> whether you <laughs> win that fight or not guess what he's gonna bang your mom or something Whoa. He will now, win the war. If it's a battle, if it's a battle of wits, though, AOC, I, she's. This got isn't a battle of wits. Is this a political podcast or is this a bare knuckle fight? <laughs> Can I just say, I bet AOC's mom is also hot. Yeah, like, <laughs> absolutely. Swing. We probably all try to bang AOC's mom. Yeah. But that is neither here nor there. <laughs> Nobody's disputing the attractiveness of AOC's mom. No, not me. No, not We're me. Alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's charm. It's it's. Uh, I gave that a five because I genuinely oh, believe he yeah. could beat you in a fight, and you will still want to fuck Sam Mayday Malone. <laughs> He's so relatable. He's so, so relatable. relatable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doug. Who who's your draft pick? <laughs> uh, I chose the famous bartender Brandy from the song Brandy. You're a fine girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow damn <laughs> that like, that's a deep cut kind that of. is a super deep cut i was not expecting that it's yeah. one of my favorite songs uh this girl brandy i wouldn't call her a girl i imagine her as like a weathered 40 year old mm. you know mm. she's working at the docks you know mm. what i mean Serving whiskey to a bunch of smelly sailors. Is Brandy AOC's mom? <laughs> this is oh, no, that's very true. That's could be. <laughs> she could be. Yeah. She's only 10 years older than her, but yeah. <laughs> hey, it builds character, you know, popping them out in fifth grade or whatever. I mean, let's be honest. She's really like 48, but she says she's 40. Oh, yeah. one of those, yeah. yeah. She's still she's trying to hang that. on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but I think she'd be a great person in the battle. She's got nothing to lose. Mm. That's always a scary person to fight. You never want to fight anybody that has nothing to lose. <laughs> That's just, finding that out. Um, <laughs> if I were going to give scores, I would say attack. See, I imagine her as like a, she, she's not she's not a rush to do anything. All right, she's a barmaid at a, a whiskey joint at a harbor in the western. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm. It uh, it's not a rush. So I give her a two. It's not a rush. It's not going to be quick. Mm -hmm. um, strength. It's a five. Ah, she's a heavy, she's a tank. <laughs> Hundred ships a day come into this. <laughs> Wait, who sings this song? Uh, Looking Glass. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're all right, man. There's a couple. How, how does the song go? Can you give us like a little, just for the people who don't know. Brandy, you're a fine girl. Everybody knows this song. <laughs> I don't know. What a good wife you would be. Mm. Mm. But my life, my love, and my lady, 
is the sea. And he goes oh. on. This poor bitch. You know what I mean? She's yeah. stuck there. Yeah. She had nothing. She just keeps fucking just serving drinks to these assholes. That's why I think defense is a four. She has a broken heart. The song's really about this poor woman that one guy came in giving her gifts. You know what I mean? Giving her gifts. And yeah. then he leaves. He's like, nah, I want to go fuck the sea. <laughs> Don't mind. I'm just going to go back and go have my way with the ocean. And uh, so he goes off. And so he's, she's always thinking about her. And these other drunk sailors are like, ah, Brandy, you'd find a girl. You'd be a great wife. And she's like, I don't want to fucking marry you. <laughs> like, Fish fucker. I don't want to get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> so, and she, so you can just imagine all these guys like, oh, Brandy, y'all hitting on her. The defense she has to have on these assholes has mm -hmm. to be amazing. It's as a woman who has been hit on in many bars, I can say it takes a lot of defense. I, I give her the defense. We are giving Brandy the D right now. It is. This is a tearjerker. I'm kind of getting We're like, giving Brandy the this. D right now. Yeah, we're giving Brandy the D because like she's getting dumped for like, what, Poseidon? That shit's crazy. <laughs> Imagine not. No, I want to go on these big waves and catch this smelly fish. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> like, he's definitely like having too much fun with the sailors, if you know what I mean. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, he out there. He's loving that crew. Like, I kind of like Brandy, but I kind of like my crew. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, no, it's the sea. I just love the sea. That's you just funny. have like Sam Mayday Malone on the ship carving lemons. Can't have just like the no scurvy. You need your citrus. <laughs> Sorry, Brandy. I gotta go hang out with uh, the sea. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I like the sea. Uh, that it's the motion of that ocean. The two yeah. Yeah. The motion of that sea, the big sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stamina, this is where this is where she falls. Because I imagine she works every day. I imagine this fight's gonna take on half the work. She's gonna be tired. You know what I mean? I'm giving her a one for stamina. Damn. I wow. see her as a she's a she's a haymaker. That's she's good. Gonna you, she's gonna hold you back. She's coming with a haymaker, and if she catches you, it's over. But mm. she's got like four or five in her, and then that's it. She's like, ah, whatever. Oh, Larry, you know what, that savage book fair. Does just, she have any, uh, spe like, when you were describing her as, like, this, like, she, like, calls these guys. I'm like, is she, like, part mermaid? Is she, like, a siren of the sea? Like, maybe she calls them in and she makes them think about her all the time. Maybe that's her special, a low-key like special. I love the things, uh, in the song, it goes, her eyes could steal a sailor from the sea. You know what I mean? Yo, she's a cryptid, dog. She is an ocean cryptid. She has powers. Right there. Also, she has a weapon. That guy gave her a braided chain, right? From the north of Spain with a oh. locket. Listen, I name. try to keep it fair and say no <laughs> weapons. Oh, right. A braided chain is dope. It's a bare knuckle brawl. You can't be showing up to Fight Club with a freaking macer or like a flail they're gonna be like what are you doing <laughs> what is that in the song uh, yeah the, uh this song's way more brutal than i thought it was <laughs> no, she doesn't hit anybody with it but she gets it yeah she gets a braided train and then the locket uh, uh, bears the name of the man that she once loved oh she's a dom dude she's, she's so <laughs> <laughs> like she's gonna charge us money to be in this fight like this <laughs> You don't want to battle her. I mean, you can if you can get past the fear, you can be you can weather her out. But she's tough. Mm. She's a tough one. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna say all right. So who? All right. So let's match him up. So Mo <laughs> versus AOC versus Sam Mayday Malone versus Brandy. Do we really think Mo could take any of these, or could any of them take Mo? He absolutely is, not. But, <laughs> Mo is a powerhouse. He has jaundice. He's probably got cirrhosis of the liver. He's all yellow. He has that scratchy voice. If he doesn't have a weapon, he's a known coward. So if weapons aren't allowed. He's got a shotgun, doesn't he? Who here watches The Simpsons? Dave. I, you said you said bare knuckle boxing. And it's bare knuckle, but he's asking about weapons and he's attacking my purity. So does he have <laughs> No, does I'm he? saying if he has a weapon, if he has a, if he's allowed weapons, then we're done. Because you're right, he has a shotgun behind the bar. <laughs> I disagree still with that, but yeah, he he'd make second place for sure. But no weapons if this is bare knuckle brawler, he's bare he's knuckle. A, He's a winner. You don't think he's going to make it? All right. You know what? Fine. We'll put Mo in the mental fourth place. All right. So let's see. Let's do Brandy versus uh, Mayday Malone. Because, like, Brandy doesn't give a fuck. 
But Mayday is very vain. So it's like... She's going to fall in love. Oh, they're going to fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> she will be weak in the knees. She no, can't man. win the fight. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking the opposite. Exactly. Think Mayday's yeah. going to be too, too distracted. You yeah. know what? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. He may be a little distracted. <laughs> it's very, it's, it is a common trope for him to fall in love immediately. You guys all chose women. I wasn't expecting you guys to be yeah. like, hey, we got no, fine ladies. not a woman. I just I wasn't expecting a woman. fine ladies. Dude, Listen, when I, when I think Russian. bartender, I think Brandy. It's just the first thing I think of. My second choice for yeah. tonight was literally going to be Rachel from Coyote Ugly. Because I'm like, you know what? We're, we're doing all ladies. Tonight. This could have been like, a cat fight. Dude. I don't know lady bartenders. I still would have picked Mo. He's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, uh, I'll pick Sean Courtney's sister, Robin. Perfect. That's the closest <laughs> thing to the She's lady bartender bar. adjacent. Could yeah, have bartender adjacent. I thought somebody was picking Sean Courtney. I thought about it, but I don't know if enough people uh, know that. Movie. Yeah, that's kind of like a little Easter egg for the Worcester peeps, but... No, really, Mo is all I had. And then I was going to pick someone from Cheers, but you just did that. So there, that's out. But who was uh, you guys' like second choice, second or third? Uh, I, just... I would put Mayday third, and I would have the, the two women fight it out. Mm. I was going to do Woody Harrelson in uh, Cheers. I was thinking about that, too, with Coach. Coach is a little old. He'd have to, he'd have to <laughs> hey, Coach would get it. wrecked. Coach <laughs> yeah. would get wrecked. Yeah, it would be man. rough. <laughs> Although, I, if, if it were a match between Sam and Coach, I think Sam would have a, a soft spot. Like, that would be, like, the scenario where he might lose just because he'd just be like, I can't. He's, like, my old coach. And then he would just get wrecked by Coach. Dude, no, like, Coach not, would just, like, see coach. His, his, like... No, I know. We know. We knew what you were talking about, Woody, but then we moved to Coach. Oh, they, oh there's uh, a quick... Yeah, all right. I was like, oh, wait. We, quick we, detour. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. I still, my money personally, if I had to pick out of like your three top choices, I think I might go with AOC. Just like, I don't know. She just seems. Dude, bad. But Brandy ass. is a hard choice. It's really between like, I don't know. Sorry, Sam made Ava alone, but your, this your is charm, bullshit. your Dude, charm's not going to work on me. I got to go with one of the bitches. All right. I, <laughs> Brandy kind of, I don't know. You're selling just, me on Brandy. I'll just say this is my final argument on Brandy. AOC doesn't need this kind of trouble. You know what I mean? She's not, she's going to get there. It's her head's going to come to her. Brandy has nothing to lose. And if you, you it, it depends on what kind of night you catch her on. If one mm. of these losers came in and really like gave her a hard time tonight, she, she you wouldn't want to fight any, she wouldn't want to, you know, you wouldn't want to mess with her. But if AOC, you know, gets called a bitch in the hallway, you know what I mean? And then has to, has to, you then I see her on that night. Yeah, that's a tough one too. Yeah, that's a tough one. I see, I see AOC would have like a shank versus the braided chain nail thing, you know? Yeah, she both of them. Look, I like, mean, let's be honest, Brianna, right? Women fight dirty. I mean, come yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah, are we doing prison rules? <laughs> What's happening right you now? Only, I feel I like mean, everybody's got a weapon now. No, I'm kidding. Like, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of all that. <laughs> I'm thinking of the fights I've been in, and my mind immediately goes to the first one I ever been in. And I didn't use a weapon, but I did push her in front of a truck. So it's like, you know, women fight crazy. I don't know, she moved away, it doesn't matter. Anyway, but you know, women, I will, that is why I'm saying it's gotta be between the two women. Like, I'm sorry, Dave, I'm sure Sam Mayday and his lemons are very lovely. Listen, I, I it's really not the lemons, it's not, oh, it's not the lemons he's using. It's a knife. <laughs> it's the knife. It's coated in lemon that juice knife. that he will throw with his pitching abilities. He's the only one out of this list that has an athletic career. And he's got reach. You don't know Brandy. I guarantee you, you know, he's taller. Brandy. He's got reach. Brandy Brandy could have he's like softball. seven foot three. No, he is not. <laughs> he is. Look it up. Look up his stats. Google it. Are we Google doing it. Alone? No, we're not Googling right now. Sam Ted Dance is seven foot three. That's no, real. Look no, it up. No, he's seven not. Three? Yeah, he's no, seven he... foot three. Look oh. it up. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. I Sam... looked up the stats. You think I didn't look? I didn't do my homework for this. Brianna, don't go on. Don't waste your time. He's not seven. He's six. He's I bet he's six, six four. three. He is six, six three, four. not seven three. Don't he's try still... to pull the wool over still, my eyes. Still on my taller own than both of us. <laughs> 
This is He's smaller than Shaq. How old? Yeah, right? yeah. Get out of here! This is collusion. I don't know what that means, but you're doing it. <laughs> I'm colluding with myself. I don't need yeah. anybody. You're Me colluding with Sam. Google. Yeah, die. We're gonna win. No way. I don't know. Dude, AOC would just do that banshee scream, and every beer bottle and thing in the back of the bar would just smash all over the place. Fucking people would go nuts. Uh, every everyone would be, what is it? Bar barroom fighting. What's that song? Bare knuckle oh. brawl. Yeah, bar barroom brawl. Fighting. Any any B word really? Because <laughs> I think it's gonna be a bitch brawl between AOC and Br Brandy. Is named after an alcohol. She Brandy's was. Scary. Sam Damn. Mayday Malone was merely adopted by the bartender life. Brandy was born into it. The Brand, yeah, Brandy's what? You're oh, insane. You're that's insane. That's a quote from Batman. Another B word. Okay, the bees are winning. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so beat it, Dave. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I guess I'm out. It's been real. Thank you guys so much for having me. <laughs> Who makes the final decision, or do we fight about it for hours? We, yeah, uh, do we have to actually fight to like, like as representatives? Yeah, our... we all we all meet in the parking lot <laughs> at Nix, and we just kind of we fight it out. No, I so it's for, really I feel for Brandy. <laughs> it's it's really left up, which is good because we are nearing the end of the show. It's really left up to the commenters and the watcher. I'm gonna put a poll in my Instagram story, and let's do a vote. Right now, we all know Crack. Mo is out. Y'all were not feeling Mo, and you know love what? Mo. That is top, fair. We top, love three, Mo. top three Simpsons character. Love the guy. Oh but. yeah, he's great, but not in a bare knuckle fight. I wouldn't bare have expected this. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I actually am surprised Mo just got fucking wiped out real quick. Got fucking haymaker, because that is what Brandy does. All right, so if you're voting Brandy to be in the top two, raise your hand. Oh, top two? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh top two, sure. All right, so Brandy, Brandy's in. All right, Brandy's in. Mo is out. Next vote. <laughs> Sam made aim alone. Top two. Raise your hand. You're all wrong. You're all so wrong. Look how wrong you are right now. You hey, look stupid. This, this one, if you want AOC in the top two, raise your hand. All right, it's between AOC and Brandy. So this isn't a popularity contest. This is a bare knuckle box. All right, put Ted dancing in a ring right now. I would, I would, I would put money on Brandy all day long. You don't know where she's been. And Doug is a gambler a man. I am with Doug all the way. Where Doug's Maybe money goes, knows. I'm going. He's been pampered his whole life. He's gonna be fixing his hair. No, nah, Brandy's a woman of the sea, and AOC yeah. is that bitch. So that is a professional athlete. He actually has physical training. Was a professional athlete. Was. Was. Now he's was. a bartender. Yeah. And AOC was a bartender. <laughs> and so, now she is okay. that bitch. She has only yeah. got four seasons. She's All right, David. An athlete. I bet you AOC was an athlete, too. Yeah, Come on. Too. yeah. All right. She you know what? That is enough. If I had a gavel, I would bang it right now. But we are just going to have to leave it up to the Instagram poll. Thank you, Doug and Jimmy Cash, and Dave Williams for being on Punch House. And thank you all for watching. Make sure to go vote, and we will see you next week. Bye!